Who's ready to heart butt? So first of all, when you're on the ball, both legs line up like railroad tracks, and then you want to have the foot soft and the knee straight. And we're going straight up for Maximus. Then the glute medius is an abductor and an external rotator. And then you're lifting here. And then the minimus is right under it. And it is also an abductor and an internal rotator. And then you'll lift here. Then with TFL on the ball, I really like this, but you have to use a towel or something that keeps you from sticking. And we're gonna lay over the ball like this, and you're gonna be lifting TFL here, okay? And TFL is right here on the side. Then the areas that we're gonna be blasting are the love handles. Then we have side booty here, and then we have upper booty, and then of course, glute hemi tie-in. So surging is a contraction of the transverse abdominis and the pelvic floor and forcing the contraction of the glute all at the same time while relaxing everything else. And then I'm gonna take you through a workout of all five positions to grow your glutes. First things first, let's line up. You don't want your stomach on the ball, you want your hips on the ball. And then make sure that your both of your feet are railroad tracks, because this is where a lot of cheating comes out. And then Lainey, we're gonna tuck our pelvis into neutral. Okay. okay, so it's kind of like you, if you lay down naturally, your back is kind of in an arch, and we wanna take it to a neutral position. Head is always neutral. Soft foot and 10 repetitions straight up. We're gonna start with the surge. So lift to your hip extension. Check to make sure that your hips did not rotate. You wanna feel both of them pressing into the ball, no weight in the right leg. And then I want you to take a breath in. Exhale, fire your transverse abs, pull your pelvic floor up and squeeze the hell out of your glute all at the same time. Okay? So that's what you wanna feel. This is what we're replicating every single repetition. So we're gonna do an isometric on the first and now we're gonna go for nine, okay? So just drop down and up. When you come up, surge. So remember, a surge is transverse abs, pelvic floor, glute. You should really feel your glute. I do, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Make I'm sure. Shaking a bit. I know. I feel a little shake too. Also, watch for your compensations. You know, make sure you don't start getting over on this hip or getting into your back. Hamstring. Yeah. Or and try to turn the hamstring off. We're trying to get the glute. Then we're gonna AB duct out to the side. Now make sure that you don't shift on your ball when you go out to the side. Rotate the foot, but do it from the femur head, okay? So isometrically, we're gonna lift. You should feel this one more to the side because that's where the glute medius is, yes? Okay, square your hips up, square your feet up, transverse abs, pelvic floor, and then squeeze that butt. I really feel this when I surge. All right, 10 reps, here we go. I'm gonna not talk at all and just count. Nine, eight, Seven, make sure you're not in your back and shoulders. I just tried to cheat. Four, three, two, and give it a big surge. Really make sure it's burning. Good, drop that leg. Shake your tail feather. Back up, back out, and this time internally rotate, which is usually a lesser degree of range of motion. And if you have a jammed hip, you may have no range of motion, okay? So it's not the foot that's turning in, it's the entire hip. And we are in an abducted position, okay? And we're gonna lift that up. You should feel this very, very deep. I just tried to cheat by shifting into my left hip. So make sure you have both hip bones down. And then hold that, transverse abs, pelvic floor, and find that glute minimus, it's deep right in here. And then 10 lifts, here we go. Nine, eight, Seven, soft foot, six. <laughs> I was counting down, now I'm counting Four, up. Whatever. Three, I haven't taught an aerobics class in a really long time. Okay, give it one last surge, square off those hips, find it. This one should feel super, super deep. It's below the glute medius. Good, and then bring that on down. I'm already sweaty. All right, so we'll roll over, and you're gonna perch your hip up on the ball. 
And then you need a towel or something so that you don't go sliding away down there, okay? We're not putting a lot of weight in the arm. In fact, I could hug the ball if I wanted to, okay? So don't exert your shoulder, that's not the purpose. The purpose is to have that hip sitting into the ball, okay? Then, brace with the lower leg, stack the hips, stay out of the oblique, and lift the leg. Okay, soft foot, soft knee, and really make this thing right here fire, okay? Transverse abs, pelvic floor, and really squeeze the TFL. In your mind, focus on this and this at the same time. And then 10 reps, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, with breath, you guys, three, it's right here, blow, and last one, extra surge. And rest. It's hard to squeeze your pelvic floor when your legs are spread. Did anybody else know that? Okay, so we're gonna go into the blasting. All Tracy right. says, I'm feeling that deep in the back of my thigh. Is that normal? Just now for the TFL. The back of the thigh? No, that's not normal. That is probably like if you're trying to keep your legs super duper straight, it's kind of like you gotta almost have a limp leg and lift it with the side of the hip, which is a diff it's actually a difficult task. I'm, you know what, I'm going with what I do natural. Like rather than try to script this, so y'all are gonna see how I really blast. Those abs though. Word. Looks good, y'all. I got cuts. Woo -woo. I don't wanna get too good though, cause I wanna do the ab challenge. It's coming. Yes. Emily says, TFL, I couldn't feel it unless I lifted my leg above level. Am I right. doing it wrong? Nope. Just may mean that you have a bigger range of motion and your body wants it. There's nothing wrong. You can have your leg all the way up as long as you keep your hips stacked. So a lot of people are asking if they don't have the ball, should they do it on another raised surface? Should they do it on all fours or what would you suggest? Yeah, I mean the original heart butt, we showed it in standing. Um, last week, um, I showed it over an ottoman. You know, you could stack pillows, however you want to do it. But I have to tell you, the ball gives you some really nice biofeedback. And for blasting, it's awesome to go over it. And for stretch fascia yoga, you cannot beat the ball. So it's like only 25 bucks. I was going to say, if you're a, a blaster person, you probably just want to go ahead and invest in it. All right, so we're going on to side. I'm going to use mini two for saddlebag area. Are you going to blast all the heart butt zones right now? Yeah. Cool. No, we're doing it real time. That's why I kind of want to see people to see that it's kind of a commitment. Yeah. I have a feeling that this is going to take about 45 minutes. Look, you can tell I've been blasting. <laughs> I did that one with the face. Yeah, a few <laughs> I was cupping and blasting at the same time. Okay, oh, my arm got tired. I lifted arms today. Okay, saddlebag area. Now we're moving on to high butt. I think I'm gonna use the master blaster. Okay, we're getting personal here. Y'all don't be reposting pictures of my ass online, okay? <laughs> you mentioned the ab challenge and everyone's excited about it now. Yeah. Now, people ask me, like, if you like the round butt from the top, then skip this one, okay? Because remember, anywhere that we're blasting, top of your booty more, like, down lower lane. Never. She likes her as <laughs> I like my just. <laughs> Got keep it. I like as much curve right here as possible. I think the truth is my hip is jammed and it just hurts too bad. Laney <laughs> <laughs> <I'm avoiding it. laughs> has a really gnarly hip. All right, and then my favorite, and I'm just gonna stay with the Master Blaster. I don't know how you blast, I'm lazy, I'll go down on my back. So we're doing glute hammy tie -in. Oh yeah. Lindsay says, is it necessary to blast while doing these exercises or are you just showing us what areas and how to blast for the heart butt areas? 
I mean, you could do all of the exercises if you wanted and then do all of the blasting, but I personally like to mix them in together because this, um, you know, then your arms aren't gonna get tired and you just kind of break it up, but you could certainly do your blasting sessions separately. We have a sample heart butt challenge schedule in the heart butt challenge group and on the blog as well. So you can mix it up however. Yep, as long as you're doing 10 reps, three sets minimum. I know my hardcore girls do six to 10 sets. And then, you know, spend about a minute on each one of these zones. So we are back to the right leg. Okay, do the exact same series. Dive down, railroad track legs, soft foot, soft knee, straight leg, tuck the pelvis. Okay, lift the leg and let's practice the surge. Okay, squeeze the butt, pull the transverse abs up off the ball, pelvic floor, now squeeze the glute. Ooh, my hamstring wants to do it. So bad, it doesn't end up like All right, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four. I hear Lenny breathing. And let's end it with a nice surge. I really feel it. Transverse abs, pelvic floor. Good. Drop. And take your toe on the ground. AB duct. Externally rotate. And lift. I don't have much range of motion here. I actually feel a little impingement in the front on this. Let's do whatever it is, right? Hold it. Let's get a surge. We're on the third rep here. Checking in, making sure that right hip stays down. I try to get in my right back. Pelvic floor transverse out. Okay, that's three reps. Here we go. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's just go ahead and rotate it in from here, from the hip. And ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. I'm trying to cheat my back so bad on the side. Last surge, I'm gonna really tuck. Pelvic floor, I feel weird stuff. This, I'm dysfunctional calf, foot. Oh my belly. <laughs> Woo, now I'm shaking, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, drop it. All right, to the side. Transverse abs, pelvic floor, make sure the hips are stacked. Make sure your arms relax, use the ball. Relax the foot. We always want to be pretty and do this, don't do that. Because that's the lift, we want the hip. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Try not to use your oblique, two, and one. Last time, surge, transverse abs. Turn off anything here and turn this on. And rest. Milia says, are you surging with each lift? Yes, every single time you do a little mini surge. And if you feel like you can't do it, then just hold it longer. Start with the love handle. <laughs> yeah, dude, your abs are cut. Okay. Moving on to the side. I really, I'm just a, either a face or a mini two fan for this one. And since it's my scar, I feel like I get better with the face. What you got, you're doing face too, Lane? Yeah. Those of you who've been following my nemesis dent, it's, I have to like get in a weird position, but it's gone away. And Anyone out there with a hip replacement or any type of surgery scar to be able to do this is a miracle. It's almost, I almost don't even feel anymore, so I don't really think it's that scarred up. This is an area on my body that's so trapped, I don't know. So All right, take it to high booty.
People are asking, how long are you blasting each zone? I mean, I'm, we're doing about a minute. I'm not timing it. I'm just going until like, I feel it and I feel red. I, I just can't give up the Master Blaster. I love it. Especially <laughs> for that area right there. Yes. Anytime I work in my back. And I love back for this hands. one. Yeah. This has always been, you know, a difficult area. I think for most women, right? Yeah. It's not really very pretty, is it? <laughs> I was just gonna say, you actually look really pretty doing this. So oh, I'm not you should have quite my <laughs> Yeah, like your calf's looking ripped, I'm kind of just distracted by it. <laughs> when I was, um, you know, filming the professional videos, you know, you're trying not to sweat, and you're trying to keep your hair nice, and everything. Yeah. I was like, this is just not a pretty process. <laughs> I actually like, let me, I'll show this since we're doing it. I like to sit up a little bit, and have my neck supported, and the ball is awesome. Yeah, I was doing that the other day. It was awesome. Love it. Or also, I like putting my feet, like my heels, on the ball as I do it. Yes. You can double wall it. Yeah, that's what I was doing earlier. <laughs> Melissa says, I've understood this so wrong. I sit in the tub and then blast and then heart butt. I'm so sad. <laughs> Melissa, That's you're not, not doing it wrong. It's just a different series. <laughs> this is just a fun way to do it, but you can do it however you There's like. so many people that like, um, you know, to do it with. Um, even I follow along on Julie Chilberg sometimes because I just want to space out and have somebody coach me. So this is just a way for you guys to get coached through the heart butt. But however you put your schedule together, I know there's a lot of people that do their heart butt at the gym that may not want to do the blasting part of the gym or they may want to do the blasting in the sauna or whatever. Totally fine, okay? All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. We're just gonna get right to it. Start with the surge, glute maximus. Coil your pubis around the ball. Transverse abs, pelvic floor, fire that glute. It should be popping up. Kim, can you tell? Yep. Like my butt feels like it's just raising up. And here we go, drop and load, lady. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, are you surging every time? Yep. Everybody out there? You can see your glutes lifting. I'm trying to keep my transfers through. Ooh, surge, surge, surge. You should really feel your abs pulling off of the ball. That's why I like the ball for this. It gives you so much biofeedback, right? Mm -hmm. Check your hips. Make sure your back is off. <laughs> Drop. Take it out, externally rotate. Lift and surge. Find the medius. I definitely feel it already, so here we go. It's nine, eight, seven, six. I'm trying to use my back. Five. Just, if you are feeling other things working, just slow down, okay? Because that's a nervous system thing. One last hold. Check your transverse abs. Pull your girl parts together. All right, internally rotate. Drop and lift one time. Feel that deep minimus. Relax the foot, straighten the leg. Find your transverse abs. Oh, the minute I turned them on, I felt it right in the minimus. And here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Lana says, do we Six. squeeze both glutes or just the one side we are lifting? Just the one side you're lifting. Everything else is relaxed. Last one, hold. Make sure you didn't shift. My ball went over. Both hips mm -hmm. down. I was doing something weird with my foot too. All right, cool. On your side. One quick check. Where, who asked that before? Like on this side, I can go a lot higher. So you could do it up here if you have that range of motion. All right, surge. The hard part on this is to totally turn off the oblique, but turn on the transverse abs. Squeeze your girl parts together and really tap right here. Make sure you got it. Blow surge. And go. Nine, eight, Rhonda says, surge until you feel the burn and then do the 10 reps. Yep, and try to recreate the burn, Rhonda, on every single repetition. Four, three, two, one. 
three, two, and one. Re-engage transverse ab. I had gotten a little in a back arch. We start to cheat as we get tired, okay? Good, shake it out. Last, love handles and the obliques. I want my waist as small as possible and my butt as round as possible. I'm here. Me too. Lindy says, when I keep my left foot straight when working on posture, it feels like it's so awkwardly turned in, but it's straight. What does that mean? That means you tight. I was gonna say, I don't think I comprehended it. Can you say it again? <laughs> when I keep my left foot straight when working on posture, it feels like it's so awkwardly turned in, but yes, it's straight. Yes, that's because you, so when you have a dysfunction where you turn out all the time, which by the way, I have that on my right foot. When you go straight, your brain says that's in because it's used to being out. Usually, uh, somebody who turns their foot out is tight in their hip flexors. And if you're following live feeds, I did one with Steve and Rhino where we did the entire series for pulling out a jammed hip and pulling out the jammed hip. Also, in the fascia yoga week last week, we did an awesome hip stretch on the ball. Okay, top of the booty, coming in with the party blaster. Why, y'all tired? Y'all bored? Y'all are, oh no, we're in this together. Nobody's going anywhere. Come back out on me now. This is like Christmas vacation. Nobody goes anywhere. <laughs> Becky says, is the whole leg turned on when doing the minimus exercise? No. My leg is stiff and it looks like Ashley's is too. Is this, is this correct? No, let me tell you, I think that my glutes are so weak because they were cut, you know, for all the surgeries that I had. And I think I'm trying to cheat with that leg. The leg should be relaxed and you should only feel it. Bam, in that minimus. Okay. This, is uh, my technique. this is my real technique. Keep the blaster still and shimmy. <laughs> Mine is this so that I can ignore my extra skin. <laughs> oh, that's a really good point. Lainey has a little extra skin. She just lost 80, 90 pounds. Her skin is tightening up very nicely, but she's stretching it out, which is a great blasting technique. All right, I'm gonna try the Kim move and do glute hemi tie with my foot on. Oh, that's called blame move. I'll give you a first, actually. <laughs> okay, we'll give you credit. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like it. All right, Kim's in. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. That's comfy. Yeah, I like to push it out. What leg we're on left? I guess we can straighten it. Yeah, we're the left leg. Who out there is doing it? Everybody. Everybody. Jessica's this is good stuff. I actually like kind of going between the original blaster and the master. Yeah, I like it's different back and feel forth, yeah. on the glute hammy tie. Yeah, I definitely like switching back and forth. Woo! You ready? Yes. No, I know, I like that one so much. Who doesn't like to do a glute hammy tie? It's like a grand poo move. All right, headed back onto the ball. Right leg. Surge with me one time. We get it up there nice and high. Tuck that pelvis. Push your pubic bone towards the ball. Ooh, my brain is like, no, I don't need to do that. Let's just set it down. And here we go, guys. Nine, eight, seven. Every time you lift, you blow. Do your abs, your pubis. Not your pubis, I'm so sorry. It's hard to exercise and talk at the same time. Hold the last one up. Your abs, your pelvic floor muscles, and that butt. I keep turning my foot off. And relax the foot. Relax the leg. Does my leg look like it's on, Kim? Because I feel like it's off. It looks off. Okay, good. I think on the minimus, I just have trouble. It may be detached, who knows. All right, abduct, externally rotate, lift and surge. On me, I really want to cheat by rolling. So make sure you keep that right hip down. And here we go. Nine, eight, I'm also trying to cheat in my back. If you are trying to cheat in your black back, you can go all the way down like this. The only thing that's working is the transverse abs, pelvic floor, and that glute. 
Hold the last one up. Really push the right hip into the ball. Surge, surge, surge. Internally rotate. Drop it down and lift it up one good time. Fill that one deep. And here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you can be lazy and do this motion without doing your butt. I just did two reps with no butt. not my butt. <laughs> All the back. I don't know. Fascial leverage. So really re-engage it. Fill those transverse abs. Pelvic floor, hold it. Get it up there. Now fill it. And drop. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Hold it up. Really check for the, don't let your you know, stomach hang out. Tuck those hips, and then here we go. 10, nine. Karen says, do you surge during the entire set? Yes. No, well, during the set, yes. During the exercise. You do it with like blow, surge here. Inhale, exhale, surge. Inhale, exhale, surge. So yes, throughout the whole set, but not the rep. The surge is on the lift, and surge. Ooh, and, rest. and rest. All right, last. My knee popped the first two times. Has anybody out there found out that they are, they do it lazily <laughs> and that actually doing it real time is hard? Maybe you don't. Sometimes as you rest. fatigue, like towards the end of the exercise, I have to be more conscious to do it correctly. Otherwise, I start getting lazy. Yeah, the last two reps of that, I use the fascia line, leverage, cheating, whatever to, to get that thing. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what I use, but it wouldn't glute minimus. My glute minimus, I don't even know if it's still attached. It has a, a femur attachment, so I have a fake femur, so. Yeah. But I, I'm not giving up hope that I can grow that butt. Delinda is saying, so is it better to do these exercises on a ball rather than standing? And everyone's telling her yes. But what is your take, Ashley? I mean, there's just so many ways to cheat in standing. I'm not saying I've never done it, but this kind of eliminates that. And it also makes you turn everything else off. I think if you're trying to grow something, you want to put as much neurological activity into it as possible. Okay, we're going to move to saddlebag or side leg. The ball makes these exercises so much easier, specifically if you have like low back issues or tightness. Crazy. Jennifer says, yes, the ball really helps with form. Everyone's talking about how much it's helping them. I mean, to tell you the muscles. truth, you know, I have a full-blown cable system where I could hold and stand and be super fancy, and this is how I do them. I just feel like, uh, I feel like I'm isolating my glutes more. Angie says, do you heat up before or just by getting warm from the workout is enough? You, we're warm. But normally, before I would do this, I would sauna for about 15 minutes. I like to start out of the gate warm. Okay, high butt. I'm going master blaster. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> for back there. Yeah, same. I like what you did though, Lainey. I wonder if we could do it over the ball. Oh, I did that the other day. Oh, I got, I got some yes. bruises. <laughs> I, I have a clump of fashion right there. Can y'all see it? You can see that over it, yeah. Going down. That love handle area is my nemesis. Yeah, when you have kind of a square body type like Kim, this is one of the areas that it wants to clump up, right? Above yeah. the hips. If you sit all day and things like that. Good hand tie in. I'm going party blaster. I'm gonna go sitting up this time. Let's not create a fat roll up. <laughs> I like sitting up this one because I feel like my hips are happier. I have to hand it. I'm going to do the Captain Morgan. Just say it. It's also a shower. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody feeling out there? There's lots more questions about the exercises than there is the blasting. Right? So I guess our blasters are good at blasting, but the exercises are kind of a new concept, right? Yep. We were talking about the exercises and the ball. 
Shelly says, the ball lets you see how and when you, how and where you cheat. Exactly. Yeah, so great. And when I say biofeedback, that's what I mean. The ball tells you what you're doing wrong. I also like, for me, because I've just learned to move with a really bad hip, and I always try to cheat with my back, and the ball lets me, I mean, I can literally drape all the way over it, mm -hmm. like a rag doll, and just turn all yeah. of that off. All right, this one time I'm gonna coach Laney, because um, I wanna be real specific and make sure that um, I say everything that needs to be said in, in terms of a trainer's perspective. So the first thing that I would say is to line up like railroad tracks. Now me and Laney both do weird stuff with our feet. So this part is actually really important. And then you wanna tuck that pelvis, find your transverse abs, so try it without the leg. Surge through the pelvic floor, and then go ahead and lift the left leg up. That's really good. Now, what her little cheat? Relax the foot. <laughs> All right, resurging. Try not to use your back. I saw a little bit of back. And then doo -doo -doo, get that on. There, there it is. All right, 10 minutes, go. So one thing I typically see, Lainey's being really good about it, but we've trained together for years, is they try to contract here. So when you lift up, do everything, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Every time you lift your leg, think about driving your pubic bone down into the ball. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that may cut off your range of motion, but that's fine. We don't want to lift with our backs. That is for another day. And her butt is working. Good, stop, drop. All right, then again, just make sure this foot and everything's still straight. Make sure the pelvis is straight on the ball. I like to lift it just a hair and do true abduction and pure external rotation. Give me a surge here. Okay, so everybody hold this and turn off your back. Okay, you may want to try it just laying all the way over, Lane. See if you like that. Now turn on your butt and hold. 10 reps, go. So every single time you lift, it's blow, abs and pelvis. I always say in the IFCD DVDs, blow, abs, go. So that's what you wanna do. Inhale on the way down, blow, abs, go. Inhale, blow, abs, go. She's definitely in her medius. Give me one more surge, sweetie. Hold it. Really put that external rotation. Rotate, rotate, shove the left hip down. <laughs> this is her bad hip. Okay, so go ahead and turn it in, in abduction. So where the minimus is, is right here, really, really deep. So try to put, yeah. See how she had to intentionally turn it on, you guys? All right, drop and do 10. And she doesn't have much internal rotation, that's okay. As long as we're strengthening the minimus, she can work by doing hip flexor stretches, digging out the psoas, um, blasting the quads and the hip flexors. She can work on this hip. Three, two, and last one, I'm just gonna give you a little more internal rotation. Really try to find it deep in that booty. That was beautiful, Lainey. She, as soon as I put her there, she started to shake. So it's great to have a partner, somebody to, to watch you. We used to alternate who went so we could see each other's dysfunctions. Like mine, I got my right foot out right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Lady likes to be like a frog. All right, so over the ball. I'm just gonna give you a visual. You want these hips completely stacked, ribs pulled down. Transverse abs on, and then soften that foot and lift, and only use this. That's it, that looks good. So lift and surge, get your blowing. Inhale, exhale, abs and TFL at the same time. I'm gonna check them. Inhale, exhale, yeah, she's doing it. Four, three, two, Awesome. Kelly says, never felt the minimus like I do now on the ball. Angel yeah. says, feeling it more now. Awesome. Yay, guys. And everyone's saying, good job, Lainey. Thanks, guys. <laughs> good job, y'all, too, I'm sure. L Lana says, so minimus is kind of over the SI joint. That's where I'm feeling it. No, it's more out to the side. But I, I was taking pictures off my anatomy app to post, and we can't do it during the live feed. Um, so we'll post them at the end and we'll show you where the minimus is. It lies up under the medius. Sneak it in. I think I'm going to face it. I know, when I get going on that part, I just want to get on that SI ridge. D saying you blast after every set? 
Yeah, because you want to do as much blasting as you do lifting. So that's why I decided in the live video to do them alternating. But again, we said this earlier in the feed, you can put this together however you want. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm about to go over this ball with the party blaster and do high butt. I will get a close up of this action. <laughs> It looks like really amazing. Like I want to go home and do it. <laughs> it really feels good. Lena, yes, you do need the ball. She says, okay, now I need the ball. <laughs> it's great because it's filled with air. It's like a big old pillow. It, it is so awesome. I'm so in love it's with the so ball. And if you guys out. missed fashion yoga last week, you gotta watch it. Because this ball can give you traction. It's amazing for stretching fascia. The, the fascia ball, the yoga, fascia yoga ball really serves, it's almost like having your own stretch therapist to stretch you out. Oh my God, I'm sweating in my <laughs> <laughs> I also like the intervals because I think it makes you actually blast enough. Yeah, yeah and blast evenly. Those of you who have a timer, I mean, I really think if we were to go back, we're doing about a minute, minute and a half per zone, right? Yeah, probably. Unless it's extra painful, then maybe 30 seconds. Oh, oh this feels like it wants Yells, girl. I love that inner thigh ridge right there. That is where I am so sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting after it with the face blaster. I just my inner thigh, so it's doing better. All right, I'm gonna coach. Kim, you can do a 360 around me. She'll be better on this leg. This is her good leg. So this bad leg's already trying to line up weird. And I see rotation, do you feel that? Push this oh. one down a little bit. The coil around the ball. Try to relieve the tension here. All right, lift the leg, and let's do our first surge. You can see it, I mean, Lainey's booty is just popping. If you guys want booty pop, this is the way to get it. Can you get the pelvic floor too? I'm not gonna check for that. Yeah. But watch for that rotation. Lift a little higher. And let's go ahead and do 10 reps. So drop down. You got nine, eight. Squeeze those abs. Six, good with the foot. Relax it a little bit more. Five. Actually, that's three. Two, give me one more good one. Really pop it up into my Fingers. Yeah, girl. All right, drop. Then we'll take it abduction. Let's, on this side, you should have some really good external rotation. Now drop the right foot into the ball more. And I'm just gonna take you to a good range of motion here. You hold it. Don't fight in the foot. Yeah, there you go. It's all right here. Here's your blue meat. I'm sweating on you, sorry, Lane. <laughs> Medius is here. Surge, pelvic floor, transverse abs. Yeah. Woo, and I did that, popped up right into my hand. All right, drop and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, a little more out to the side. Three, two, and last one, surge it. Really give me this. Relax the back, relax the shoulders, relax the foot. <laughs> we try to do it in everything but the glute. <laughs> All right, internally rotate. We're still abducted, which means spread out to the side. Lift it. You want to fill this one super deep. Remember, it's under the medius. If I could like pull her butt off, it'd be right up under there. Surge it. You, for some reason, are like trying to not just rotate, but you're shift there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she started going to that side. All right, 10 lifts. 10, 9, Hey, any of these corrections that I'm making, are you guys like, oh, shoot, I'm doing that too? Yeah. <laughs> Aletha says, if it hurts where you just pulled, is my hip jammed? If it hurts where I just pulled, did I pull? You just moved her hips, and now she's saying it hurts. Okay, rest. Okay, so, resting. So never work through pain. Um, and if, like, so for instance, if you have internal rotation here, but if you take it way out here and you don't have it, go to the pain-free range of motion, okay? But just know that you're tight and 
you really need to blast along there and do the glute stretches in fascia yoga. Oh, good position. She literally, when I came around, she would do, uh-oh, <laughs> pelvic floor, transverse abs. All right, I'm gonna even brace you. Okay, lift and hold. Now, Lainey's doing the pretty leg. Do ugly leg, let it flop. Because when you turn off the leg, you get more in the TFL, right? Mine's barely on. Yeah, it's, it is literally like, <laughs> please, please, may I have some more porridge? It does not want to come on. <laughs> Drop down and just keep it low. Whenever you have one that doesn't want to fire, just lift it there and then back down. And then inhale, exhale, surge. Yep. Did you see her abs come on when she surged? That was yep. awesome, Lainey. Nice and lengthened too. A lot of people tend to shorten that. <laughs> and her oblique is off. I mean, I'm telling you, nine out of 10 people that I teach this to leverage this oblique. That is very hard. Ophelia says, like a dead leg, meaning should your leg be totally Rest. turned off? Yes. Remember, we're trying to activate these muscles. So if we turn all of these on, you know, trying to be pretty and cute, then we're actually putting some of our neurological attention to other places. You want all of the attention to go to um, just the TFL and the core. But the way that neurology works is that your signal comes from your brain and it comes down through the spine and then out. So what we're trying to do is give it the message to fire through the core and then into that glute, which actually gives you more nerve activity. Try it with your abs completely off and you'll feel the difference. Liz said, are we gonna do the, well, she said no inner thigh or bridges? Um, bridges we do in. not have inner thigh as part of the heart butt, but you absolutely could add it, I'm going to back. You absolutely could add it to the glute hammy tie-in series. I actually do my inner thighs on a separate day. When I blast, it's sauna time and I use that face blaster and I go after them. All right, let's do high butt. I'm just showing an alternative version and standing. For <laughs> Donna says, how much have I missed? <laughs> <laughs> Most I missed of it, it all, okay? <laughs> this video will be available for the replay as soon as we're done. And it will be posted in the heart butt blog. Chrissy says, is it a picture only or pick and video for the heart butt challenge? We're only asking for pictures this time. We're making it easy on y'all. So join the heart butt challenge group, post your pictures. The deadline is Friday at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. So tomorrow, post your pictures. Hills. Ari's asking if we're doing hip thrusts. Yes, ma'am. At the end. Just because we had single legs, we had a debate actually right before we did the live feed about where to put them. It just made sense to throw them in at the end. And I'm gonna give you guys new variations so don't drop off the feed. We are gonna be doing them in internal, external, parallel, and then I'm gonna teach you guys something you've never seen before called the windshield wiper. All right, so what I see wrong, and I'll try not to do too much coaching, is on this. First of all, if it's really, really hard, put your ball against the wall because this does involve hamstrings to keep the ball from rolling away, okay? Um, to make it easier, just prop it against the wall. Now, what I don't wanna see is nobody needs to push into the floor and nobody needs to be way up here, okay? All you're gonna do is pretend like you have a tail, okay? And you wanna take that tail and pull it over your head. Okay, so where my bra would go is, ah, I'm hamstring cramp, <laughs> um, is on the ground. And it's all about the posterior pelvic tilt, tipping that bucket back. Okay? So you're gonna pinch your butt cheeks together, which also you'll get your pelvic floor when you do that. And we're just gonna do 10 lifts, and it's little. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, I don't know if I can do three sets of that. That was insane. Mine's smaller. 
These ones are intense. All right, Kim, film from above just for a second. We're gonna do external rotation. If you have this much external rotation of your hips, you can do it with your feet together. If you have less external rotation, you can do it here. Okay, I love it like this. This gets the meat. my default. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, so we have to surge. Inhale, exhale, find those transverse abs. Pull that pubis up and then lift. 10, nine, squeezing the butt. What y'all think? I wanna try that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. I think this is like the hardest part on any woman's body to condition, which is the high membranosus tendinosus, which is your two medial hamstrings right at the time. So you're going to take your knees together and I actually want you to squeeze them. We're gonna incorporate a little bit of high adductor with this, okay? Take a breath in, feet are relaxed, surge, transverse abs, lift up and squeeze the knees together. If you don't love me right now, get off my feet because this is awesome. <laughs> and here we go. Feet apart, nice. knees together. Squeeze the knees. And remember, you're just tipping the pelvis. You're not trying to get way up high. You lose the glute hammy tie-in if you lift up with your back. Y'all are trembling. And rest, yeah. In fact, I had said three sets, but one is enough for me, and I'll work up to that. So if anybody else wants to do that three times, you can. So everyone's asking, how do you turn off your hamstring, and how do you turn you off the turn lower off back? You don't turn off hamstring. We are doing the glute hammy tie-in. So you are supposed to be incorporating the hamstring and the way that you turn off your back. So you don't wanna lift up, we still have windshield wipers. <laughs> you don't wanna lift up like this. That's in your back, you wanna lift up like this. Mm. Tuck your pelvis. Yep, and my hamstring almost just cramped when I did it. <laughs> okay, one last little nugget for y'all. So you're gonna put your feet, um, right where the stripes start on the ball. And I do love my ball because it gives you visual cues, yay! <laughs> so, big time tuck, hold it, find your abs before you do this. Now, just do your knees out and then squeeze them in. And take them out and squeeze them in. If you've never felt your glute hammy tie in, you are gonna feel well, it now. Yeah. I'm sure all this tomorrow. So this is lateral, meaning it's the lateral hammy, and this is the medial. Squeeze those knees. I have a weird foot thing going on on my right. It's hard to stabilize that ball. Yep. And stretch. Oh. So if you want less hamstring and more glute, like if you're totally feeling hamstring, put your ball against the wall because it's, you're having to contract your hamstring to keep the ball from rolling away. All right, I want you to give yourself a really big hand. Woo! I did quite a bit of talking in between, so you might be able to get through it faster or do you know, more reps and more blasting, but this way you, you have a, a real-time video, no excuses, hard butt challenge,